make magic. So first I'm going to turn my heat on medium on my stove. I'm going to put in four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let this melt down and then we're going to get our shrimp into the skillet. All right, our butter is melted as you can see here. <clears throat> now I've got about two pounds of raw de veined, de shelled shrimp here that we're going to put into our butter. season this. First of all, we're going to flatten all of this out here. And then we're going to season this with some tahini, which is a chili lime seasoning. And I'm not going to put any salt in this because this is really salty. Like this, um, this mixture, chili lime, Tahini is really salty. So that's enough of that there. Add in some minced garlic. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then for a little bit of heat, I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Let's see. Wrong side. Red pepper flakes. Can you guys see that? Just for a little bit of heat. We don't want a lot of heat because I'm eating late at night and I don't want to make myself sick. So there that is. The juice of a lemon, half of a lemon comes next. There we go. Just a half of a lemon I'm using this time because I don't need for it to really be much more sour than it already is. So let's give this a good stir to make sure all of our seasoning is together. Don't forget that shrimp only takes a very short time to cook. So when they turn pink and curl into a C, that's when you want to take them out. There we go. Alrighty, as you can see, our shrimp has curled. Everybody is cooked. Looks good. So now we're going to get this off the fire and onto our plate. All right, so now we're going to bring two cups of water to a boil for our lime cilantro rice. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of salt here and bring that to a boil. All right, we've got action. So... Let's go. I'm using brown rice tonight. Um, and you're just going to make this according to the package, whatever kind of rice you're making. I'm making minute rice. Um, it's the only kind of brown rice that I can stand, that I can, that I have found to be palatable. So I'm going to make this according to the instructions on the box. And then I'll be back with the other things to add to this. Alrighty guys, so our rice is pretty much done, very close to. So now I'm going to add in 
the juice of about half of a lemon. And I'm going to get, let this cook just a little while longer so the rice can absorb that. And then I'm going to put in about a half of a tablespoon of dried cilantro. You know, if you have fresh, of course use fresh, but we're in quarantine right now. Um, we're on lockdown, stay at home order. So I purchased the dried so that I wouldn't have to worry about it going bad because uh, I have literally no more room in my freezer to store anything, even if I chopped it up and froze it. We just don't have room. I've, I've chopped pretty much everything that I possibly can. So we're gonna let this set up now, get our rice together, um, and we'll be right back. All right, the final step in our cilantro rice, I'm gonna put in about two and a half tablespoons of butter. And we're just gonna kinda let this melt into this and then our rice is done okay and these are the ingredients that you're going to need for your pico you're going to need some roma tomatoes an avocado one lime and about a half of a medium onion and some sea salt you can use as many tomatoes as you like or not you know I just need this amount for tonight. Let's get these into a bowl so that they can become friends. All right, now we're just gonna toss our ingredients together. And then we're gonna let these sit for about 20 minutes so that everybody can get to know one another. Okay, this is our finished product. I did make a separate video on how these are put together to eat them. But, you know, you can eat them deconstructed or you can put them in lettuce wraps and top them with the pico and they're absolutely amazing. You guys, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.